Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. We are in my garage, so it's time for another garage update. It's been about five months since the last update. So guys, sit back and hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. So guys, there are 15 cars in the garage today. I'm gonna to spend about a minute on each car, keep it short and sweet, give you an idea of what's happened to that particular car, what the plans are. Uh, also gonna give you an overview of the cars that were sold this year. Potentially talk about cars that are coming to the fleet for next year. Uh, and also, two cars are up for sale. So guys, we're gonna start right in the corner and work our way down. So let's start with my E30 M3 convertible. This was given some love earlier in the year by Deutsche Tech. The engine is running sweet. Since then, it's been parked up. I've shown this car no love, just been working on other projects. We've managed to fix the electric roof. Uh, we managed to source two motors and make one working motor. 2023, this will have an interior refresh. Uh, I need to sort out the back bench, which has got a tear. And we're gonna go coilover suspension probably KWV3s, and we'll look at some new wheels for 2023. So yeah, my E30 M3 convertible. So guys, yeah, I am going by my clipboard because there's a lot of cars here. So my E24 635 CSI, Motorsport Edition in Macau Blue. Uh, this car has been restored by a previous owner. Uh, you've got that lovely Lotus white interior. It's on airlift 3H suspension, and you've got these awesome 18 inch Hartiger split rims which were built for me by uh, Ellie at Voodoo Motorsport. This car's attended quite a few shows this year. Um, not really much to do on this car, just a simple audio upgrade, maybe add some bass. Uh, but yeah, lovely car. This one is definitely staying in the fleet. So let's move uh, away from German and let's move to French. Uh, my Renault Clio V6 uh, in Iliad Blue. SG Motorsport, Stuart, one of the best in the business, gave this car some love this year. Runs, again, absolutely sweet. We've done a suspension upgrade, so we've got KW Variant 3 suspension on this. Car is looking perfect. I need some spacers just to push the wheels out slightly so they fill the arches. Next up will be an audio upgrade and a security upgrade. This car drives exceptionally well. So, that's French. Now let's move over back to German and my E46 M3 CSL. Yes, an E46 M3 CSL, a unicorn car. One that I wanted to add to the fleet for years. This is a very low mileage example, less than 25,000 miles. I've had it for about two and a half years. I've not really done much to this car. It is stock, simple CarPlay stereo upgrade from Kenwood. Suspension is standard, just very clean, good looking car. For 2023, there will be an audio upgrade, so we're gonna change the speakers. I am gonna go KW Variant 3 suspension, and also probably change the exhaust, update it to a Super Sprint. Now guys, I know I'm talking very fast, but obviously, as I said, one minute per car. Staying with E46 M3s, we have my track car. So this, we purchased as a stock uh, E46 M3 manual about three and a half years ago. Straight away, we went into converting it into a track toy. So let me go through some of the upgrades we've done. Yes, it's six-speed manual. It's had a gearbox rebuild. It's got a race clutch, wave track diff, CSF rad and oil cooler, even Turi air intake, super sprint exhaust. It's got cage, it's Recaro's, it's got AP brakes. Now this year, I have not managed to get this out on a track. Just been super busy with work and so on. For 2023, uh, this car will be going to JTEC Automotive. They'll go over the car, make sure everything's uh, perfect and fine. And next year, you will see this car hit the tracks. Uh, in fact, my good friend, Tommy Grout, is going to help me get my uh, racing license. So that's the plan for 2023. And by the way, this is a track car on airlift suspension. So my 964C2, the car that started my Porsche addiction. I've had this car best part of seven years. I didn't buy it like this, obviously, guys. This was a very tired marine blue 964C2 manual, stock, uh, interior was very tired. 
There was rust on every panel. The engine was smoky. It took me three years to restore this car. I'm not gonna go into the amount of work that was done. Click here, you can watch that episode. This car's had a lot of love over the years. It's my sort of pride and joy, and it's the one that we use for uh, promoting the business. So in brief, you've got airlift 3H suspension, 18 inch rotating form uh, wheels, custom built. Interior, you've got Recaro A8s, all retrimmed interior, door cards, Mama steering wheel, prototypo in carbon. Uh, the dash has been retrimmed, you've got new headlining, you've got new carpet. Engine, top end and bottom end complete. Rebuild, new exhaust, new glass, new panels. Just watch this episode, guys. So, that was a lot of German love. Now let's get some French love back in. My Renault 5 GT Turbo, purchased just over a year ago. This wasn't running right. Jamie at JTEC went through the car, changed a whole lot of components in the engine bay. It's a stock engine, but she runs absolutely sweet now. Next year, the plan is to change the suspension, lower it a touch, potentially change the wheels, uh, security, and a subtle audio upgrade. Uh, and then this will be going in the shop. I'll get to that in a moment. Now guys, just check out the interior. So recently acquired BMW 840ci Sport. Individual spec, so it's AG in blue with that cream champagne interior. Fantastic car. This is one of our Slam Sanctuary Customs projects. So this will have airlift fitted probably in the next two or three weeks. I've already saw some new wheels. There'll be an audio upgrade. There'll be a security upgrade. There'll be numerous episodes covering the build process of this car. It's a fantastic car, 4.4 V8, lovely exhaust, which has been upgraded by the previous owner. Very low owners, three owner car, very good find. Again, I've got to give a big thanks to Raj Sira, who sourced this car for me. His details are on the screen, make sure you give him a follow. Now, my E30 M3 Coupe, the car that started my Macau Blue love, proper, E30 M3, so obviously left-hand drive. This year, we had the carbon intake installed, which I had sitting around for about three or four years, and the engines had a proper tune. It's uh, sitting on airlift 3H suspension. You've got these lovely Rotiform 17-inch LHRs. This car doesn't want for anything. It's completed, probably needs a service. Uh, there's a little oil leak, um, so we'll get that looked at next year. But this is uh, another lovely car, in fact, Let's start it up. You can have a listen to that air intake. So you're staying with E30s. We've got our E30 LTO build here. This car started as a stock E30 325i uh, in white. Quite for about four years. This was a, a COVID build. Um, now, this car's had no love this year at all. You know, you could see, look at the level of dust on this car. Palm is planning some engine upgrades. He wants the car to be popping and throwing flames. He wants the engine and the exhaust note to match how loud this car looks. So I'm sure Palm will cover that journey uh, on the channel next year. So yeah, that's the two E30s. In fact, that's all the BMs and the French cars done. Now let's talk about my GR Yaris. GR Yaris, this year we did the power base audio upgrade. The stock stereo in this car sounds absolutely pants. All we've done are change the front and rear speakers to power base speakers and now this car sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, recently we uh, installed KW Variant 3 suspension. When I say we, I'm gonna do a little plug. We sell all the suspension on, and all the audio, as you guys know, but if you don't, for performance and tuning parts, hit up tuningstore.co.uk, details are on the screen, and you can obviously have a look at suspension parts and bolt-on accessories and so on. Um, the plan for this car next is wheels. We've got some on order. Uh, we've already got an Eventuri air intake, which we'll install at the same time as the wheels. Uh, Matt will be looking after the journey on this car. And then we're gonna look at an exhaust and finally some bass, add some depth to the internal soundtrack. So that's 11 cars. Now, there are another four cars here. They're all Porsches. I've shown you one of them, my Slate Grade 964 C2. The other four 
are over there. So let's start with the oldest first. My 964 3.3 turbo. I've had this car for about three years. Both these two cars, so the 964 and the 993 turbo, have had bare metal resprays by Greg at Southern Bodies. Love this car to bits. I just love the way it spools up, you know, your off boost, off boost. Then it's all theater and drama when the turbo kicks in. Small issue with this car that it's a little bit smoky on startup. So it's booked in with Northway Porsche and in January I'll be dropping the car to them and they'll find out what the issue is and resolve it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not an engine rebuild. Uh, I've spent quite a lot of time and money on this car, repaint, speed lines and being refurbished by, again, Ellie at Voodoo Motorsports, had an audio upgrade. Uh, love this car to bits. Um, now, let's talk about my 993 turbo. Another air-cooled turbo, 993, this is a 1995 model. It's all-wheel drive, twin turbo. So the 964 turbo is a single turbo. This is twin turbo, 3.6 twin turbo, 408 brake horsepower. Subtle upgrades to this car, which include KW Variant 3 suspension, so it's sitting a little bit lower. And you've got these amazing 18-inch rotiform KLU wheels. In terms of audio, all I've done is change the stock stereo to a Blaupun. Next year, we will be doing a full audio upgrade in this car. And it's obviously got security. It's got Clifford security um, on this car. In terms of performance, the only thing I've really done is change the exhaust. It's got a Brook racing exhaust, which sounds the nuts. In fact, I think you guys have got to hear this. Let me start this up and you can have a listen to that. Okay, so my two 911 GT3 cars. My 997 GT3, a club sport spec, so that means you've got the cage in the back and the bucket seats. It's in this amazing color of speed yellow, and potentially that's the reason why I bought this car, because of the color. I've had it for about three and a half years, bought it from JZM Porsche, a great team to deal with. This is the only car that's not been featured on the channel. I don't know why, but it's not. And this is the car that I've probably used the most over the last few years. It's done NC500, it's 1500 miles there and back from London. I've done a Wales trip and I've done a Yorkshire Dales trip in this car. So I don't know why I've not featured it on the channel. However, I'm planning some mods, you know, that's, the, that's what I do. I can't keep anything original. There is a Kenwood CarPlay unit already in the car. Next year, we're getting KW suspension. Obviously, you can see the theme here. It's either KW or airlift. This is gonna have KW suspension. We're gonna change the wheels. Not sure to what, but we will change the wheels. And I'll upgrade the exhaust as well. This is a fantastic car. Very analog in the way it delivers the power. Manual box, which is absolutely fantastic. High revving. Really love this car. Now, the total opposite to analog, digital. Uh, my new 992 GT3. So yes, my 992 GT3, which I spec'd earlier this year in this fantastic color crayon. If you're watching this in the States, it's called Chalk over there apparently. Good friends at Porsche Reading. You know, I still can't believe, it is a pinch me moment, that when I got that phone call from David at Porsche Reading, Raj, come and spec your GT3. I was like, you what? So even now, I still can't believe that I got allocation of one of these cars, because it's, as you probably know, it's super rare to get into that GT3 VIP club. So yes, my 992 GT3 in crayon, club sport spec. So you've got the buckets, and the cage. Um, I've done about a thousand miles in this car. So the running in miles are done. The weather outside is horrible. So I've not really been able to open this car up. But at some point, early part of next year, uh, we'll get the drone out, we'll get the cameras on the car, we'll get the GoPros out, and we will open this car up. And you can hear how insane this thing sounds at full chat. But yes, yeah, such a, an amazing car. Look at the size difference between this and that. So this is a 2007 GT3. This is a 2022 GT3. Yes, they've got wider, they've got longer, you know, wider at the back, bigger wheels, you know, just look at that wing. And this is not even an RS, the new GT3 RS, the wing is like up to here. Uh, but yeah, this is a one fantastic car. At the blocks, you don't really need to do anything to this car.
apart from enjoy it. So guys, what's missing from the garage today? Well, my Escort Series 1 RS Turbo is with Jamie at JTEC. Uh, he's going through that car, a few subtle engine upgrades, servicing, belts and so on. Hopefully that's back in a few days. In the shop, so in the CAS showroom, on the plinth in the middle of the shop, we've got my E36 M3 Evo. And then on the mezzanine floor, we've got my Pug 205 GTI, which actually has an MI16 engine in that car. 195 brake horsepower from a 205 GTI, which weighs about 900 kilograms. That car is just very sprightly. And then we've got my Mark II Golf 16 valve. Now, at some point in 2023, early part of 23, maybe February, March, both the Mark II Golf and the Pug 205 GTI will be coming off the mezzanine floor. And the two classic turbos, so that's the uh, Renault 5 GT5 Turbo and the Series 1 Esco RS Turbo will be going on the mezzanine floor. So yeah, keep an eye on our socials for that. We'll show you how we got the cars up there and what we have to do to get the cars down and replace them. So that's the plan for those four cars. So what cars have been sold this year? Well, the M2 competition was sold back in March. My 991 GT3 was sold to get into the 992 GT3. My E30 325i motorsport convertible, that went in the spring. My 355 F1, after seven years of ownership, I got rid of the 355, wasn't using it. I wouldn't say I fell out of love with it, but just wasn't using it and it was time to move it on. The Mercedes-Benz W124 Coupe Slam Sanctuary Customs Project. Actually didn't want to sell that car, but I'd said right from the outset that when we finished that project, the car would go up for sale. So that sold and we sold the Honda S2000 Slam Sanctuary Customs Project. From the CAS fleet, so that's the car audio security fleet, we sold our F80 M3 into Kia Orange. We sold our 997 C2S and we've recently sold our Mustang GT350 to my very good friend, Rocky Battelle. Great doing business with you as always. Oh, by the way, the 997 C2S, that was sold to Dream Car Giveaways. They're a competition company. Details on the screen. Make sure you give them a follow because at some point that car will go live on their website and you'll be able to buy a ticket for maybe $1.99 or $9.99. I have no idea, but you could potentially win that car. I'm going to be buying some tickets and I know my staff will be buying some tickets as well. So, you know, can you imagine if we win that car back? That would be pretty cool. We've also recently added a VW Caddy to our cash fleet. We've added an Audi TT, which is a Slam Sanctuary Customs project. And we've added a Mark 7.5 Golf GTI. Those projects are ongoing and you'll see them on the channel. I've got two cars arriving in the next, well, one's arriving next week, brand new car. Uh, so a week or so after this episode goes out, you'll see that car land on the channel. And then we've got another car arriving early part of 2023. Now I get asked all the time, guys, if there was one car that I had to keep and sell everything else, which one would it be? Now, I'm gonna break it down to two cars and then I'll tell you which one will be the keeper. So there's a lot of fantastic metal here. Uh, the two cars that I'd break it down to would be the E46 M3 CSL. I always wanted uh, a CSL and growing up, I love BMs. So I think that has to be part of the DNA. And then uh, the Porsches, it's a hard choice, but I'd probably say 993 Turbo purely because of the way it delivers the power. It's a lot more power than the 964 Turbo. Still analog, but very linear in power delivery. Now out of those two, I'd probably say the 993 Turbo is the car that I would keep. Now, out of this collection of cars, what would be your keeper? What would be your go-to car? So, I've sold a few cars this year, I've parked that money, but in 2023, I'm gonna go again. The market's definitely cooling, so I do believe early part of uh, spring, summer, maybe over winter, there could be some potential good deals out there. What am I looking to add to the fleet? Well, there's a few cars. I definitely want to buy a 996 Porsche, but it has to be a special car. I think a 996 GT3 RS needs to be added to the fleet. I need to replace my Ferrari, but with a special car. So I'm looking maybe 430 Scuderia. M3s, I've got the E30 M3, I've got the E36 M3, I've got the E46 M3 times two. 
I think an E90 M3 will be a great addition to that M3 selection. I've had two previously. Maybe I shouldn't have sold one of them. It was a great car. Um, and I still got that itch for a Lancia Integrale Evo and an Escort RS Cosworth. So I need to scratch that itch at some point. What cars do you think I should add to this fleet? You can see what I like, uh, German cars typically. Uh, what do you think I should add to the fleet? And finally, guys, I mentioned earlier on that there will be some cars going up for sale next year. In fact, you can hit me up now if you're interested. The Clio V6, it's a great car. In fact, let me rephrase that. It's a fantastic car. But you know what? I've ticked that box and I'll be happy to move it on. So if you want a really sorted Clio V6, drop me a DM. My E30 M3 convertible, although that needs some work doing to it, and I'm gonna do that work anyway, if you want to buy that car pre or post work done, drop me a DM. Um, remember, there are only 786 E30 M3 convertibles ever made, and they never hit the US market. So if you're watching this in the States, you'd be a baller if you had an E30 M3 convertible, because you just don't see them out there in the States. And finally, my pug, 1.9205 MI16, which will come down off the mezzanine floor early part of 2023. That will be up for sale. So if you're interested in any of those, just drop me a DM. Guys, this episode's taken a little bit longer than I thought. I've asked you guys a few questions. What cars should I add to the fleet? Which would be your go-to car? Which is your favorite car as part of my collection? Uh, I love the love that you guys give to me, not only on the channel, but also on my Instagram. So hopefully in 2023, the journey continues with a few additional cars that I'll add to the fleet. As always guys, smash that like button. Just smash it now. Thank you very much. Um, share our content, that's always appreciated. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, why not? If you watched it till now, subscribe to the channel. Just hit that button, log in, subscribe to the channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This episode's probably a lot longer than I thought it would be, but guys, appreciate you watching. I'll be back in 2023, uh, hopefully with some new cars, hopefully some cars will be sold. And guys, keep an eye on the channel for all the updates on some of the cars that are gonna have some love uh, next year. Thanks for watching. Wow, long episode. See you later.